Now to the historic indictment against Mayor Adams. Tomorrow he's expected to appear in court on federal charges. This comes as Governor Hochul says she has read the indictment against him and calls it disturbing, adding that she expects the mayor to take the next few days to review the situation and find an appropriate path forward. If he's convicted on all the charges, he could face up to 45 years in prison. We have team coverage for you tonight. Let's begin with Ali Bauman live at Gracie Mansion. Ali. Maurice and Christine, tomorrow's arraignment comes at the request of the mayor himself, who said he wants a speedy trial so New Yorkers can hear the truth. After that, he'll have another court appearance a week from tomorrow. And in the meantime, despite calls from some in his own party, the mayor says he's not going anywhere. I look forward to defending myself and defending the people of this city. Mayor Eric Adams defiant in the face of five federal charges, including bribery, fraud, and soliciting illegal foreign campaign donations. These are bright red lines, and we allege that the mayor crossed them again and again for years. The 57-page indictment unsealed Thursday alleges for nearly a decade, starting when he was Brooklyn Borough President, Adams sought and accepted more than $100,000 in travel benefits from foreign businessmen and at least one Turkish government official. Luxury hotel suites, business class flights around the world, a boat tour, and even a Turkish bath gifted to Adams, federal prosecutors allege, without him publicly disclosing any of them, as is required by law. Those were upgrades on airlines with open seats. That's what airlines do. They do it every day. These upgrades and freebies were not part of some frequent flyer or loyalty program available to the general public. As we allege, this was a multi-year scheme to buy favor with a single New York City politician on the rise. Eric Adams. Prosecutors claim Adams also accepted illegal campaign contributions from Turkish straw donors or third parties, which multiplied by public matching funds, reaped $10 million from taxpayer money for his 2021 mayoral campaign. And in return, the indictment alleges Adams repaid his Turkish donors by pressuring the New York City Fire Department in 2021 to allow a new high rise Turkish consular building to open in Midtown, even though the FDNY had safety concerns. Resign. The mayor was met by protesters outside Gracie Mansion Thursday morning as he defended himself with a cohort of prominent faith and civic leaders. Everyone that knows me knows I follow campaign rules mm -hmm. and I follow the law. And while many in the mayor's own party are calling for his resignation, Governor Kathy Hochul is stopping short, saying in part, I expect the mayor to take the next few days to review the situation and find an appropriate path forward. I ask the mayor to seriously and honestly consider whether full attention can be given to our deserving New Yorkers. And the indictment alleges even after Adams became mayor, he continued some of his old habits in preparation for his re-election campaign. Prosecutors, meanwhile, say their investigation is far from over, promising to continue to dig and hold even more people accountable. Live outside Gracie Mansion on the Upper East Side, Ali Bauman, CBS News, New York. Thank you, Ali. As Ali mentioned, prosecutors say Adams let Turkish officials buy his influence. Yeah, just to review here, one part of that indictment centers around this building, the Turkish Constitution. Consulate in Manhattan, Adams alleg allegedly pressuring the FDNY to open that building despite safety concerns. Dick Brennan joins us now live from City Hall with more on that part of the story. Dick. Well, Christine Maurice, here it is, that 57-page indictment we've all been talking about filled with allegations of corruption against the mayor of the city of New York. But the big question is, does this add up to a conviction? The U.S. attorney says Eric Adams was being showered with gifts, some $100,000 in travel benefits from officials in Turkey, and in exchange, even pressured to get a consulate open before it was ready. He intervened in the New York City Fire Department's inspection process for a building owned and operated by the Turkish government allowing it to open even though it had not passed the fire inspection. The 35-story consulate stands across the street from the United Nations headquarters. It's common that the fire department is actually, in some cases, the last agency to, to do final inspections of the building before it opens. And, of course, all the pressure of opening falls on the fire department. Fire protection engineer Glenn Corbett says some buildings can open without standing issues, but only if they're not major ones. 
at the end of the day, the fire department has that responsibility of making sure that if they do allow the building to open with, for example, a temporary CFO, that there's a fundamental acceptable level of fire protection in the building. Adams now has to defend himself against charges of bribery and soliciting illegal campaign contributions. He allegedly took steps to conceal those illegal contributions and personal benefits and involved city employees and campaign staff in that concealment. Are these cases hard to prove? These cases are extremely hard to prove. Defense attorney David Schwartz says recent U.S. Supreme Court rulings have made public corruption cases more difficult to prove for prosecutors. We certainly have upgrades on flights. We have hotel rooms, which may challenge certain ethical obligations. But that does that cross into the criminal arena? Eric Adams didn't take gold bricks. He didn't take jewelry. He didn't, ta he didn't have cash in his freezer. This is a campaign that was benefiting. Now the mayor says he's going to leave his legal case up to his lawyers to run. In the meantime, he says he will continue to run the city of New York. We're live at City Hall. Dick Brennan, CBS News, New York. Dick, thank you. Now, if the mayor does leave office, the next in line of secession is the public advocate, currently held by Jumani Williams. After Williams, the position of mayor would go to controller Brad Lander. A special election would have to be held within 80 days. And in an interview today, Williams called it a painful time for the city and said the goal now is to restore public trust. Mayor just needs to ask himself the question of, can you continue to govern and uh, can you help restore trust? And I want to make sure that in any eventuality, um, New Yorkers know that a government is going to continue to work. So that means Williams also stressed the presumption of innocence in Adams' legal process and said that he hopes the mayor is doing a lot of soul searching. The indictment against Eric Adams is historic. He's the first sitting mayor here to face criminal charges. Two other mayors have resigned. In 1932, Mayor Jimmy Walker stepped down amid a corruption scandal. And in 1950, Mayor William O'Dwyer resigned after getting caught up in a police scandal. But City Hall being hit with scandal is nothing new. Pretty much every mayor or every mayoral administration since the Koch administration has been under investigation in one way or another. It really remains to be seen um, where the mayor goes from here and where the city goes from here. Adams has spent decades as a public figure. Before being elected mayor, he was an outspoken NYPD officer, a state senator, and also Brooklyn Borough president. And while there is mounting pressure for him to step down, Alicia Reed reports he is getting support from some Brooklyn voters. As a federal investigation heated up, New York City Mayor Eric Adams visited two Brooklyn churches in recent weeks. Pastors at Changing Lives Christian Center circled the mayor and prayed for him, and the congregation joined in worship. Now with a five-count indictment and a looming Friday afternoon arraignment. We can't really jump to conclusions as of yet. We visited East New York, a Brooklyn election district that, according to the New York Times, garnered Adams more than 76 percent of votes during the 2021 primaries and where he still has support from some. Will the community have a good respect to Mr. Eric Adams at the end of the day. Um, he will have to answer a lot of questions. And like the mayor said, you know, we got to give him a chance and be patient with him and see, see what's good. Meanwhile, some are keeping their lips sealed. I don't have an opinion. I, I feel like that. Wish him all the best and hope everything will go for him. Others say let the bribery and fraud corruption charges play out in the judicial system as the former NYPD captain, borough president, and state senator maintains his innocence. From a cop. You know the rules. I believe in he go through the system, they try him like anybody else, and if they found them guilty, then I'm not going to see guilty when we hear the truth. Supporters continue to stand behind Mayor Adams and the charges he's facing, but when it comes down to getting his job done, there's growing pressure for him to step down. The confidence that people have in the hall is deeply important, and we want folks that are going to be able to do their job to keep us safe, make sure the schools are running well, make sure our trash is getting picked up, and those are things people worry about. We don't know if the mayor can fulfill those duties, um, considering that he's going to have to expend a lot of energy and effort and resources in protecting himself. In Flatbush, Alicia Reed, CBS News, New York. 
You can read the full indictment on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And our coverage continues first thing tomorrow morning, starting at 4.30 a.m.